YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can be making coins tomorrow, this weekend with Ultimate Team of the Season. We'll be going over trading methods, investments, we'll be looking at expected content and some leaks. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about content today on Thursday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was pretty basic. It the usual Thursday content, you get the objective, you get marquee matchups. We did get a player SBC. We'll start off with the SBCs, marquee matchups, boom. There you go, 50k pack, cool. I don't even know if anyone does marquee matchups anymore. I haven't touched marquee matchups in months. Probably because I'm a little too lazy with it. Maybe that's just me. But the player SBC we got was a goalkeeper. It is Wojciech Szczesny, one squad to complete him. Not a super expensive card. 86 overall with a team of the week or team of the season requirement. And here is his card. Not too shabby, big boy as well. Six foot five, what's up B? Oh, by the way, apologies for the late video. Had a game tonight, scored the uh, last minute equalizer, you know, no biggie. I'm just, I'm him, you know, is what it is. Um, and that is the Wojciech Szczesny SBC. We did get an objective. We were talking about potentially getting an objective with ultimate team of the season, maybe specific requirements. We could buy it right away. It didn't end up being anything crazy. I think it's in the live section. Uh, ultimate team of the season cup. You complete it, get a bunch of XP, bunch of packs and there you go ultimate team of season cup that was content drop let's talk about the market what happened um we were getting some leaks there was a lot of pat code leaks from foot scoreboard and people were looking and it's potentially looking like team of the season moments might not be in ultimate team of the season tomorrow on friday i guess it's basically today on friday now um and because of that we did see a lot of team of the season moments players go up in price putalas went up basically 200,000 coins pull her team of the season moments up um that's an undercut right there she's basically 2.2 mil but before this came out she was borderline 2 mil flat and you can see the big rebound right there uh i i just want to check i'm curious what happened to namor maybe he went up in price namor is a player that's very expensive so i'm not sure how much he would move from something like that let's just see was there any movement yeah, no not really when these players that are stupid stupid expensive and super super rare you don't see that much movement with them because uh, if this dude was in ultimate team of the season none of us are packing him still doesn't matter. Same thing with an Mbappe. Same thing with a Holland. Players like that. No one's packing them. Let's be honest. Um, so some of the team of the season moments went up a little bit. It's going to be interesting tomorrow. If somehow we don't have full leaks at the moment, if we do end up seeing some of these team of the season moments in packs, obviously, obviously not these guys, but like a Putelas, if they do end up being in, you're going to see them come down. There's going to be a lot of movement on the market tomorrow. Ultimate team of the season. We don't have full leaks at the moment. I we saw foot sheriff posted i can pull it up real quick he posted a picture and it was just a couple players and since then we haven't really had much else and it was it's just the big players this this is all we've seen so say there's supposed to be 30 players so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so there should be 14 more players i'm assuming it's 30 plus so at least 14 more players and then i'm assuming maybe maybe it's a mixture of male and female i don't know if it's 30 males 30 plus females that'd be kind of a lot actually but uh if any player that's not here is in ultimate team of the season they're going to come down they're going to come down a good amount so there will be a lot of movement tomorrow a lot of movement be very careful um obviously there's some gambles you can take there's some flips you can try and do like i still have this Giroud. i need to sell him i'm just way too lazy um I think playing it safe is, is the better move to go. If something crashes too much, obviously we can look to flip it. Like if, if some card just drops a ridiculous amount, obviously we can buy that panic, but I'm going to be playing it safe. You guys know our investment. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Very straightforward. Um, I will say though, if, if you are looking to build a team out of every single week, this is the week to build the best team you could possibly build. I mean, I don't have a team, right? I do have a team, but this isn't my team. I was trying to keep track of every player I've packed. By the way, I've crafted a thousand player picks. I have not had a single player better than Berardi. It's very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. All I wanted was Giroud, man. And it's really uh, disappointing. But 
back to what I was saying, any week to build your best team, to have your best foot champs finish, it's this week because ultimate team of the season rewards are the best. We talked about it. They uh, changed the rewards, ultimate team of the season. It's pretty solid. It's a 94 plus, 94 plus ultimate team of the season champs player pick. Now, a lot of players are going to be fitting that, but it's ultimate team of the season cards. So hopefully um, we can get some good players. We'll see. I mean, probably just going to end up getting goalkeepers. Let's be honest. But uh, this is the best week. So try to get a good formation, get some good tactics and make a good team because you want a good finish this week. Um, so let's talk about making coins tomorrow, Friday should be really easy. So uh, you guys know whenever there's a lot of supply, I always tell you guys get on bids. Why do you get on bids? Because there's so much supply, a lot of deals are going to be coming through. You have to bid an hour after content drop though, because think about it, if you're opening packs, and you list your cards up on the market, you have to wait an hour for those bids to pop up. So one hour after content drop, hop on bids, you can bid on anything. Bid on team of the season cards, bid on fodder, bid on. That's honestly all I'd probably bid, be bidding on, to be honest. Team of the season cards are fodder. That's it. So some fodder bidding filters you can try out. Let me just see what fodder might be good enough. I think, honestly, I think you'd want to target 87 plus. It depends on what's getting supplied. The past few weeks with team of the season, we've been getting the first hour in 87 plus lightning round, and it's been selling out. In the first hour, bidding on anything 87 or higher is really solid because if everyone's opening a pack that has 87 plus players, there's a lot of supply on 87 or higher cards. You can get a ton of deals on bid. It's it's a gold mine. So let's just do some 87 or higher bidding filters specifically. So if you're gonna do 87s, there you go. 6162, min by now, 1025. You search it up, you'll have a bunch of 87s. We're already at the 10 minute mark, but if you do this one hour after content drop. For example, content drop for me, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd probably try this out at like 2.03, 2.04, 2.05. 05. And um, we're at the 10th minute. You should be all under a minute, like 30 second, 30 second, 30 second, something like that. And if it's like that, all you do is bid, 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 bid. Keep going. Your transfer targets are full. And then you go and you try to outbid people here on your transfer targets. That's how you're going to do it. Any of these bidding filters. And you can get a ton of deals doing this. Now, that's 87s, 88s, 61, 62, min by now, 10 to 5. There you go. You should have 88 overall cards popping up. Did they change their price range? Oh, shoot. They actually changed the price range of um, 88s. That's interesting. They changed the price range of uh, 84s as well. I don't know why they did it. They upped the price range. You can see here, 84s are now min price 1200. And uh, it looks like 88s are now min price 6200 when they were 6100. Kind of random. Not sure why they did that exactly. So they upped this one as well. They were 9 ones. So because of that, instead of 6162, I'd go 6263. And then for 89s, I'm assuming they're all 92 start price. I'd probably go 9293. And then they're a little bit higher then they're a little bit higher in price. I'd probably up them in by now. It depends on what they're going for. Right now, 89s are 20K. So min by now, 20K would actually be solid, but might be a bit cheaper tomorrow. So maybe do like a min by now, 17.5. And uh, you should get a lot of 89 overall cards doing something like that. So those are your bidding filters for fodder. And then if you're bidding on team of the seasons, I mean, you can choose specific team of the season cards that are in packs. Make sure it's cards that are in packs. Um, or you can just do something like this team of the season max price boom and just and just bid it doesn't even matter where you put the max price just have it low and you should have a ton of bids popping up um and those are the bidding filters i think if you're on a low budget that's it's going to be your best bet just hop on bids anything that you win just sell immediately bid sell bid sell don't be greedy with your listing price as well especially if you don't have a lot of coins you want to make sure the card sells so bid sell bid sell bid sell try to make as many coins as possible if it's really good which it very well could be there's a lot of potential for it to be good um you could make like 300k 400k 500k if you're grinding bids it's a grind a lot of coins to be made if you're doing it and you get a little lucky sometimes as well i do want to mention you can get very lucky on higher budget cards like during premier league team of the season this is just kind of random like I'm just telling you guys, bids, anything on bids, you can get very lucky. 
during Premier League team of the season, this Gabriel was in the 100,000 coin range. I think he was like 115, 120. His bids were going for 50K, 60K, 70K. So it's not just the fodder type cars. You There's a lot of potential on, on the entire market. Like, I don't know what cards are going to be ultimate team of the season on the lower end, but some of these mixed team of the season cards, like maybe Timber, maybe Jordi Alba, maybe you could get some really good deals on those players tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe you could get a really good deal on an Akardi, a Koulibaly, something like that. Is that what's his min price? Yeah, you could potentially get good deals on these cards. So just keep an eye out on those. Um, you can get sneaky lucky and just make a ton of coins on one card if you get lucky. Um, so that's that. Now the investment. You guys know the investment. I've talked about it so many times. Team of the season cards. They are so easy. Every single year, they do so good. And the idea is team of the season is over. What happens when team of the season is over? They're not in packs anymore. But SBC still require team of the seasons. They still require team of the weeks. The past three years, they've done insane. Ridiculous. I have the numbers down. Last year, they went to 90K. FIFA 22, they went to 82K. FIFA 21, they went to 72,000 coins. It's extremely easy. You can see right here, team of season done and boom. This guy had a max price of 60K. Other team of the seasons went, went way higher, like 90,000 coins higher. Well, not 90,000 coins higher, 90,000 coins is what they went to. Um, so a lot of potential. Like I said, obviously things can change. That's the risk with investing, but it, it's such an easy investment and it makes sense. It's a logical one. It makes sense. Um, and you can, it's low risk as well if you buy certain cards like... 88 overall cards are 9,000 coins. 88 team of the seasons, I think they're like 23K at the moment. If you want to be safer with it, just buy higher rated ones. 89s are 21K, 90s are 21K, 91s are 23K. Guess what? All the team of the seasons are around that price. I'd maybe go to the 91s, but they're below 24,000 coins. Why not just buy those? If you have to pay an extra 500 or an extra 100 coins, not 100, 500 or 1,000 coins to just buy a card that's a little bit higher in rating. So you have the safety net of, hey, one, they're fodder, but two, they're a team of the season. I would do that. Also, price ranges. The price ranges are a little bit higher. If you're buying someone, like, look, 95,000 coin max price, okay? You saw with that Blake how his max price was 60K, but other team of the seasons last year went to 90K. Don't have to worry about that with someone like Nanasi. Um, if we look at other team of the seasons, let's just go and look at team of the season, cheapest prices. Their price ranges probably aren't the same. So let's look up Puertas. Puertas, what's his max price? Puertas, max price is 95K as well. All right, take it back. How about Costinha? I mean, it's probably because these guys are the current um, team. They're the current one, so their price ranges haven't been adjusted. Never mind. But uh, never mind, I guess. I was going to say price ranges, but maybe in the future, EA are really stupid. They make no sense with a lot of stuff they do. We could very well see those price ranges come down. Let me look at Mixed Team 4. Sometimes once the cards are no longer around in packs, they then update the prices. Mixed Team 4, yeah, see? Max price 35k. 89 overall, max price 35k. But if I look at a higher rated card from this team, like if you went the... And I guess we'll just go the 90 overall card route, max price 50k. So a little bit better there. Um, just go the higher rated route. It's okay if you have to pay a little extra. Uh, so that is that with the team of the season cards. It's it's super easy. It's what I'm going to be doing. It's what a lot of people are going to be full sending. I know uh, people are always like when something like this happens, overinvestment. So many people are going to invest. There's going to be overinvestment. There won't be. There's no supply on team of the seasons once team of the season is over. There's none but you still have SBCs requiring them. Literally all it takes for these cards to just moon, absolutely moon, is it's just one SBC. One SBC that maybe refreshes daily and it requires team of the seasons or team of the weeks and they go to the moon. We saw, you, you saw what can happen with team of the weeks. Earlier on in the team of the season promo, we had, I think it was the 84 times seven. It required team of the weeks. We bought them, I think for, I think we bought them for 20 something K. It may have been 22,000 coins and they went all the way. I forget what we bought for, but they flew. They went to 60,000 coins. 
And that was just one week with one SBC because there's no supply on Team of the Weeks. Team of the Weeks are done. And that's what happens after Team of the Season. So simple as that. Really easy investment. I'm not going to keep rambling on about it. Now let's talk about expected content leaks. Obviously, tomorrow is Ultimate Team of the Season. Let me just go. Here was the Discord, me looking at the prices of the previous years. Uh, where are we at? FIFA leaks. So um, I'm going to scroll all the way down so we can get everything. FIFA Training Romania tweeted, Ultimate Team of Season is going to be similar to last year. We are going to be getting daily end of era and daily flashback SBCs. Players that are maybe flashback or end of era type players. We have Tony Cruz, Marco Royce. I don't know why Marcial's in there necessarily. Thiago Silva. I do think Thiago Silva is coming because this guy tweeted at a Chelsea account and kind of gave like the eyes emote. So it's like, okay, um, Thiago Silva is probably coming. That one makes a lot of sense as well. Uh, if you have center backs, might want to be careful because Thiago Silva could very well end up being cracked. If he's fairly cheap, center backs are going to crash. Uh, potentially could be thinking about link investments, actually. I just clicked in my head. Link investments to Thiago Silva uh, could be something to keep an eye on, especially if he comes out. Maybe just think. Think, have players in your head, and then if Thiago Silva comes out and he's really good value, go out and buy them immediately. Uh, we know the next promo coming after team of the season, the Euro promo. Here's all the cards. These are the, the official names. UEFA Euro International Star, team of the tournament, Path to Glory. That's back. Path to Glory was so good. The last time it came out, so many coins to be made. If you guys remember World Cup, uh, we made so many coins on some of those World Cup Path to Glories for Euro Path to Glory. It's so easy. Just buy some of the cards early, hold them. You make so much. I remember... Oh, I'm thinking of uh, the World Cup, but during the, the World Cup one, I think like Bruno G was like a 200,000 coin card and he went all the way up to a mil during the Brazil game. They ended up losing and he crashed back down, but it's it's crazy the profit that you can make if you buy the right cards for Path to Glory. Uh, Festival of Football Academy, make your mark, make your mark plus. Okay, so that's cool. And then greats of the game greats of the game icon greats of the game hero and icon and then what is this the two new card designs these are the card designs we already saw and that is the leaks we have at the moment there's no more ultimate team of the season leaks which is kind of interesting and uh that is it expect a lot of stuff it's ultimate team of the season we're gonna have a lot of content some crazy packs as well foot scoreboard i believe has a bunch of the pack code leaked i'm not gonna look at too much of it store packs it's it is what it is everyone's gonna buy the packs anyway i don't know ea is gonna make a ton of money that's it but any questions guys comment section down below my trading discord and my twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace